Hello again, it's Ted Leaders here from Lawton's Irish Music. We're going to talk about some of the Bowron accessories that we have to offer for you today. Now, uh, one of the things I'd like to start with is the tippers that we do. Uh, the tipper is the beater for the Irish drum. Generally, what most beginners start on is this here. It's just a pine shaft with the two balls on the end and a little gripper in the middle. And uh, the weight is actually very good for Bowron players to start with because it won't fatigue your arm as you're going. So, this is generally what you'll get if you buy a bower on from Walton's. Um, this is what is most recommended to start with. Now we do a couple other designs. One of them is this. It's a little bit heavier and has a bigger ball system and uh, the wood is definitely got more weight to it. It's, it's much heavier. So this tends to be a little bit good for playing louder and because it's a little bit shorter you can do bower on rolls a little bit easier. We also do this guy here. It's, it's much longer as you've noticed. Um, but it's it's very it's a much more smooth beater and it allows you to play a little bit of the top end playing but it's also great for the carry style in the middle so this is an excellent beater if you're looking for something that can work for multiple styles and we also have this guy here these are extremely cool because they have a very very thin thin very thin shaft and uh, what this allows you to do is grip it a little bit tighter in the middle and because of the thinness of it, it kind of rolls in your hand a little bit. So as you're playing, um, you can go in and out of triplets or the bow run rolls uh, very easy. So this is much recommended for someone who wants a little bit more of an advanced beater. So that's a little bit about the beaters. But of course, as bow run players uh, progress, you're going to find all sorts of things that work for you. But the beaters that we do offer, we try to cover a wide range of things that will work for people. Some of the other things that we do offer in terms of Bowron accessories is uh, we have Bowron Care Cream. Uh, the Bowron Care Cream is made for people who live in a little bit harsher weather conditions. If you have very humid summers and then dry winters, your drum is going to tighten up and then loosen and it's going to change its tuning uh, to a point of annoying you. Uh, so this is a great way to maintain that and control it. It'll prevent water from getting into the skin and getting out. It'll allow the weather to do its thing while the drum stays at an even pitch. And you'll do this uh, at least once a month. You'll put about a quarter size on each side of the head, and you'll rub it in. And that will uh, that will definitely curb the problems that a lot of people have with skin drums. And it isn't just Bowrons. This would be for congas, bongos, all sorts of things. So this is our special Bowron care cream that we have designed just for Bowron, the goat skin hides that we use. Now some of the other cool accessories that we do, um, although they're not related to Bowron, uh, they are still a lot of fun and are found in Irish music, and that is we have cheater spoons. These are great if you, uh, you're looking to just get into playing spoons and you want to get into the down-up motion of that. They have these pointed edges so that you can, you can triple it with your fingers. It'll give it a roll sense. So these are a lot of fun. Check these out if you haven't seen them. And then the other thing we do is the traditional Irish bones. Now bones traditionally are made out of bones, but a lot of people have switched over to wood because the wood actually creates a very high clackety sound and uh, is a lot more audible in today's loud PA environments or, or the bars where there's lots of people and you want to do that. So actually for a lot of people, they're always wondering how to play it. What you do is you're going to take your right hand, if you write with your right hand, if you write with your left, do the same thing. But you're going to take the first bone with the curve pointing towards your left side and you're going to hold your palm like this and grip your line it up with your thumb and grip your pointer finger in like this so it's stationary then what you're going to do just so everyone can see that then what you're going to do is take the other one with the curve facing to the right so that it's like that you can kind of see how that goes it's like a V you're going to put it between your ring and your middle finger and you want it to be loose in there so that it can move. And you're going to wrap that ring finger around it so that it's stationary, so that the two can clack together. Now to get your rhythm going, you're going to move your hands left to right, back and forth, almost like you're waving to someone, see you later, type of thing. And you will end up with this as a result. And then as you go down the road and you learn more uh, rhythms and things and you get more sure of yourself on how to do it, you should be able to play with other musicians doing this. And it is a lot of fun and it creates a lot of uh, neat sounds and, of course, interest in the people you're playing with. So uh, definitely come over to waltonsirishmusic.com and check these products out. Uh, we do have them right now. And uh, we are all having a lot of fun with them. So you should be too. So we'll talk to you guys later.